They are somewhat elusive, occasionally deadly, and always fascinating. We're talking about sharks. As we ease into summer days when the water gets warm enough for beachgoers to go in, scientists are on the water deploying new equipment that will help track sharks along the main coast. More on that in just a moment, but first, a little history. Contact between humans and sharks along the main coast dates back thousands of years. Recent excavations of ancient native trash piles called middens include not only shellfish remnants, but also shark teeth. Sharks virtually disappeared from the main coast from the late 1800s to the mid 1940s when the state offered a bounty on seals which were considered pests and hunting seals was the primary reason sharks came closer to shore. By the 1970s, seal populations had rebounded and the sharks were back as well. Just in time for a certain movie that made everyone keep a closer eye on the water. And sightings did go up, but no attacks were ever reported. That is until 2010, when diver Scott McNichol was inspecting empty salmon pens in Eastport. He was approached by an eight foot long poor beagle shark who tried to have his camera for lunch. Then I looked and it was coming right at me and it, it kind of hit me with a, quite a bit of force there, pushed me through the water and I, at that point I just wanted to get out. As frightened as Scott was, and as scary as the video looks, Maine's leading shark expert at the time, Dr. James Sulikowski, said the video did not show aggression, but rather a shark investigating something unfamiliar in its environment. That shark turned out to be harmless, but a decade later, another encounter between a shark and a swimmer turned deadly. That attack came during a summer when there were six sightings along the main coast in just a matter of days, most of them determined to be great whites. Since then, scientists have been working to track sharks when they enter Maine waters. New Center Maine's David Guilford was with them out on Casco Bay today when they deployed a new tool. He's at the University of New England campus in Bitterford Pool tonight. David? Good evening, Pat and Amanda. Yeah, those who know white sharks the most here in Maine say they're not out to get us, but we do need to be cautious when we head out into their territory. We spent the afternoon with some local marine biologists who were downright giddy to get some new technology in the water to help keep us safe. I mean, I'm excited about everything, right? Like uh, sharks are are a fascinating group of animals. This is a big day for white shark research and people who enjoy a safe trip to the beach. Monitoring white sharks up here is, is new, right? We haven't been monitoring them in Maine for very long. Matt Davis from the Department of Marine Resources joined UNE Marine Biologists, bringing Maine's first real-time shark alert buoy out to sea and dropping it just off Old Orchard Beach. Thinking, this is awesome. <laughs> Excited to detect some sharks. John Mohan helps lead UNE's research. This day has been a year in the making for his team. The goal is to understand how frequently they're moving up and down. Are they staying one place? Are they moving? Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get that information. This group already collects long-term data on shark movements. Now anytime a tagged white shark swims near this buoy, it'll ping instantly, allowing beach communities to be warned faster than ever. They don't naturally hunt us. Um, they're very visual predators. We have very cloudy water. Mistakes happen. Shark attacks are exceedingly rare in Maine. A deadly 2020 encounter in Harpswell was the first ever shark death in our state. It's their world and we're living in it. Still, they are apex predators. Alexa Kakesi is a UNE Marine Bio grad student who thinks Mainers can be proud of the work being done in their own state, not just for safety's sake, but better understanding this misunderstood species. The development of so much science and the care for the coastline and the species here has really dramatically improved in the last few years. While shark attacks are incredibly rare here in Maine, Davis said in the last year and a half that they've been able to collect data, they've seen 40 pings from whites entering our waters. They've always been here, he said. We're just now getting the technology in the water to go and find them. Amanda. All right, David Guildford in Bitterford Pool tonight. Thank you, David.